Hey YouTube, it's Natural Me 4C, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I break down my three-day-old stretched wash and go. All right, so my hair is still pretty coiled, so I need to loosen it up um, and prepare it for co-washing. So today I'm gonna to be using Tresemme Naturals, okay, conditioner. This is great for detangling. I'm also gonna be using some warm water in a spray bottle. I have a pair of scissors, just in case I run into any knots that I have to cut out. I also have lying around a couple combs, just in case. I'm not planning on using them, but you never know. <laughs> and I also am going to be using some clips. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to take these bobby pins out. Did y'all see that? I finally bought a black knee high. It took me forever. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to start loosening my hair up with my fingers. This wash and go held up really nicely. So I'm really pleased at how much stretch I still have. Coils are still there. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of water. I'm going to lightly mist my hair. I don't want to get it too wet, just a little bit damp. Okay. I'm going to take the Tresemme Naturals. I'm going to take quite a bit. About that much. And I'm going to apply this to the ends of my hair. I have most of the coils at the ends of my hair, so that's the part that I'm going to be focusing on. Now I'm just going to stretch my hair out with my fingers. And you can see the Tresemme, as soon as it hits my hair, it starts to loosen it up right away. I love having this conditioner on hand. It works really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more, or a lot of bit more, <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing, apply to the ends of my hair, just to loosen it up a little bit more. And I'm going to work that through. All right, I'm going to section my bangs off first. Okay, and I'm going to clip the rest out of the way. And you can see my hair is loosened up a lot from the Tresemme. So I'm going to be working in medium to large sections today. So I'm going to take this section and I'm going to start finger detangling my hair. I'm going to be pulling downward to remove the shed hairs. And I'm also going to be removing the coils from my wash and go. That way I can make sure that I get all the shed hairs out of my hair. So I'm smoothing my hands downward and I'm loosening up those coils. <laughs> all right, this section is all done. I'm gonna separate it into two and twist it. There you go. All right, so here's a shed hair that decided that it wanted to try to get stuck and cause some problems. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the hairs around it until I'm able to get the shed hair out. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, and here's a shed hair that decided to make a very tiny knot that I cannot get out. So I'm going to have to cut this one out. And this happens, okay? Not very often, but it does happen. <laughs> so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm trying to show you where this knot is. It's so small, you can barely see it. But there it is, right there. And I'm going to snip right before the knot. All right, and then I'm going to snip the knot off of the single strand that it's on. Just above the knot right there and look at that look how small causing all those problems mm -mm -mm. all right so this is the amount of hair i lost during this breakdown of my wash and go not too bad okay so these are the twists i'm going to be working with i hope this was helpful i will see you all very soon in another video take care